How's it going y'all? Today I'm gonna give y'all an update on the MR2. Like I said, got this thing uh, all put together, got the quarter glass replaced, but today we're gonna surface the transmission and see if that actually fixed the issue we'll actually go into gear and change gear and shift correctly. So, fingers crossed for that. All right, yeah, I'm gonna give y'all a quick look at the car, and then I'm gonna pull it over here and get it jacked up, and we'll service the transmission and take it for another drive and see if it actually will fix the transmission. I'm really hoping it will, but we'll see. But we got the engine and everything, got all the heat shields and the air box and stuff put back in there. So, still running pretty good. Like I said, we put a fuel pump in this thing and an alternator, if uh, you didn't see the other video. And I got this quarter glass right here replaced. So, I actually broke one. This is the second attempt on that. Let's see if we can get this thing to unlock real quick. Oh, better go this other side. <laughs> Still need to get some like grease and all the keys and stuff like that because they're st sticky. But, got the interior all put back together. It's looking really nice. It's nice. It still needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but not too bad oh, it should be working but it's not let's see here uh oh but yeah anyway I'm gonna get this thing pulled over here and we'll get it jacked up and we'll service this transmission real quick and see if that'll actually uh, make it shift correctly all right we got the transmission fluid draining right now now all I gotta do is just loosen all these bolts off the pan, drop the pan, and we'll throw the fresh filter in there, put some fluid in it, and fingers crossed, it actually works. <laughs> Shocked. Ooh. Pan's extremely dirty. Hopefully with just a little bit of a jiggle, this thing will come down. Maybe a screwdriver. Oh. Yep, that just happened. Stupid. <laughs> At least the pan's off. What an idiot. What a mess. Take a look at the pan. They actually have like these little magnet spots that are supposed to capture all the metal shavings and stuff, and that's a lot. <laughs> that is a whole lot. So, that's a little concerning. But yeah, that's a lot of metal. Yeah. Yeah. All that metal is um, uh, normal, I hope. <laughs> Fingers crossed anyway. All right, so get this knocked out real quick and then we'll see if it actually improved or fixed it. So, um, so we got the pan cleaned up. These were just little magnets stuck down here. I just took them up and kind of wiped them down, put them back. Got the gasket all in place, got the bolts in place guys would make that or not but we got the new filter all tightened up and everything so I'm gonna slide up under here put the pan on we'll fill this thing up and see if uh, you know this actually helps the transmission out it hopefully it will all right so we're in the MR2 Let's see what happens. I just put it in drive and I felt a good thunk, so. Still doing the same thing. Dang. Oh well. Let's put a little, little drive on it, see if what happens. <laughs> I 
it shifts fine if you manually shift it and then when it gets hot it shifts perfectly fine so and, yeah and the brakes still do that so transmission it's still kind of funky It's really weird being this thing with the, when the windows are actually clean. It's really open. It's kind of odd. But. Yeah. Transmission is still very unhappy. That sucks. That's kind of like a waste of time. Transmission's probably crap. So, probably gonna let this old girl sit for a little while and just drive her to town every once in a while so it's just not sitting. Alright, let's do a quick little little one-two shift. Didn't even go into first that time. this is the very first one I've ever serviced like I just hate automatic transmissions I've never really owned an automatic and uh, I just don't really care for it because of stuff like this <laughs> but let's try that's definitely first okay so we've got first time I'll continuously put a little into this thing so we're in drive come to stop that's first that's good that's second now it's working correctly such an odd thing I don't know Now it's 
actually shifting correctly. It's a, it's an odd thing. Oh, these brakes are horrible. Sorry, it's dark, guys, but you know, Tom is not my friend. Oh man, these things are horrible. Okay, so let's try again. Yep, that's first. thing is there's actually the pads actually show they actually have material probably like a quarter inch of pad material but they say they sound like it is bare metal so I mean pull over here at this old plant turn around real quick bam Yeah, the brakes are horrible. Definitely need to get brakes on this thing. Oop, oop. These people are probably wondering like, what the heck is this cat doing? All right. Yeah, like so now it's, I'm in a parking lot. Kind of co cruising around, like I said, it's working perfectly fine. The brakes are ridiculous, though. I definitely need to get brakes fixed on this thing. Yeah. Now the transmission's working perfectly fine. The 
brakes are terrible. But like I was saying, there's actually pad material there, but this thing has been sitting so long, the rotors are like super rusty and pitted. So I don't know if that's it or what, but these things sound freaking pretty bad, so. Definitely sounds like metal to metal to me. But this thing will get, you know, new rotors and pads and a brake master cylinder when I actually have the money and time to do so. Yeah, so driving perfectly fine now. It's a very odd thing. If you're a transmission person or you know what you know the deal is, um, give me suggestions because I don't know. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna end the video here. Um, yeah, that's just the game plan for this thing, guys. Like I said, uh, probably won't see it much, but you know, maybe the next time we'll put some brakes on this thing and uh, you know, some odds and ends and stuff like that. Whenever I get the time or the desire to paint the 350Z, I would like to paint this car as well. So I'm probably definitely gonna hang on to it. Unless I need to sell this to finish, you know, one of the other projects. You know, just need the money or something like that. I don't plan on getting rid of it because I actually like it. I think it's a really unique, cool, you know, kind of a cool car. So I'd like to hang on to it for a little while if I can. So, yeah, like I said, right now we're cruising 60. It's, you go up a hill and you give it a little bit of gas and gears down. Sometimes it's not always that smooth, but it does it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna end it right here. Uh, like I said, so that's pretty much the game plan for this thing. Just gonna drive it as is and just fix some of the stupid little stuff that's wrong with it. And when something happens to the engine or transmission, hopefully, you know, down the road a good little ways, we'll just pull the engine out and just case swap it. So I'm already gonna start trying to like source up and find the stuff I need to do that swap affordable as possible. <laughs> I'm not gonna try anything crazy, just I think like get it running, case swap, like in a and then turbo it eventually because you know this car was a four cylinder turbo so why not put a four cylinder turbo back in it so anyway yeah that's pretty much it and uh we'll see you on the next one guys like i said make sure you stick around all that good stuff if you want to see the fd or any other stuff i got going on like i said uh all the um support is greatly appreciated